Uh, I already what's going on, folks. Just getting the uh, stream set up, so this will give me a few. <laughs> Hey, Alternative. Yeah, Happy New Year to you too, bud. How's the uh, audio levels, by the way?
<laughs> That's still crazy loud, man. It. We're not quite streaming the, the nine o'clock yet. So you've been playing anything uh, interesting with the alternative? Folks, what's going on? This is Matt here with Game Sphere, where a bunch of gaming does not mean low quality, and this game fits in perfectly to that. Are you a fan of uh, the Metroidvania style game? Then, well, this will definitely be up your alley because it is a 2.5D side scroller, um, just because the character models are 3D. This is uh, Frontier Hunter Ezra's Wheel of Fortune. This is a game that uh, I was given to try out by the fine folks over at Evolve for their uh, you know, PR. With that being said, let's get into this. So, as you can tell, this is currently the music. This is being played, yes, on Linux, GS, desktop Linux specifically. This is not Steam Deck. Yeah. This is being played on an all AMD system. So. Let's look at the settings. You have your volume. Okay, so I'm going to go my intervals. I uh, do note that this is a anime inspired Japanese developed style game. So do keep that in mind. Uh, I'm using the PlayStation 4 controller. It works plugged in out of the box. I definitely understand your pain uh, with the long days there. I definitely understand your pain. So they don't have a lot of graphic settings, unfortunately. Not a lot of customizable stuff. If you are looking to stream this game, do know currently this is an early access title. However, if you want to stream it, uh, it alt tab kind of boots you out of the game, and then you have to turn the application. Now this could be a KDE thing, but uh, I'm just saying. So you're gonna have to put it in borderless full screen, and then it'll work perfectly fine. There is a benchmark tool, but I'm not going to get into that because it seems kind of borked on Linux just because I'm assuming most of the drivers. But let's get started. Uh, so this was just a quick play test to see if it actually worked beforehand because, you know, had that thing happen with Syndicate where it, I spent half the stream trying to make it work. And just to come find out, it was me that was the issue. Solid 60 frames, taking up 3.2 games. Yeah, it's a like some of the art style that's going on. So, from my understanding, this is kind of a sequel to a, a, another game that I believe is Frontier Hunter. You're, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I could be totally wrong. Yes, it is subtitled. In English, so, 
こちらから仕掛けない限り攻撃してくることはない<笑>これをペットにまず1000万ヘクタールの土地を用意しないとねまあそこまで大げさじゃないわただこいつらの真下にいるのはおすすめしないわねでないとヤバい液体にまみれることにそれでのゲームはタワーハンドやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおやおです。So,、uh, this game kind of gives me. So, if anybody saw me play、um, Luftmancer, like the style of game, this is kind of how that is. This very much does have a、uh, Loop Mancer type feel to the game, which nothing wrong with that.、Uh, or if somebody wants a more old school kind of looking game, that、uh, gameplay style and interaction kind of reminds me of a game called Dex, which is more of a 16 bit style of this or a 32 bit, not so much this.、Uh, another game that would fit into this would be. Sense of Cyberpunk Ghost Story, but that's more、uh, survival horror kind of game. So, again, do note this is an early access game. So, keep that in mind that the devs are still totally working on this game. And everything.、Uh, was Yes or no? Hey, climb up. So, I do like the little details, like the, the fluidity and the hair movement, like even as you turn and stuff. Like, most stuff like that is always cool to me.、Um, they do highly suggest that you do exploration to you know, open. Certain aspects of the game. Switch turn slash. Apparently, the books are how you、uh, upgrade your weapons and stuff and attacks. Iron ore, so that must be for crafting of some type. No idea what the bird eggs are. Platformer. 
very much meets uh, uh, blood stain ritual of the night kind of game. Okay, so I'm assuming what? Yep. Craft food. Nope, can't craft that. I'll save. So one of the tags for this game is uh, definitely of an exploration, so that's kind of why I'm not really paying much attention to kind of where they're telling me to go as opposed to where I just kind of want to go. character. Are you hurt? We have lots of ones to buy some chat. Chat. Do I have money? I do have money. Can I sell things? I can sell things. Oh, cool. Well, that's good to know. Continue on. See, I, the thing I like about some of these games, this uh, it, the aspect of this that reminds me a lot of decks is kind of the open-ended exploration and stuff. Which is nice to see. Something I definitely enjoy about certain Metroidvanias that kind of just let you explore every different cranny of the world that they build. And I know for some people that the fact that you have to uh, read subtitles is not going to be your thing. And I totally get that. But on the same note, it really doesn't matter to me. I can understand why it wouldn't matter to some. Well, I've played enough anime style games or this. Whatever. Good <laughs> me. Yeah, you, you can play a King of Fighters or you can play a Guilty Gear or you can play insert 900 other non-dubbed English, uh, non-English dove, um, style games, and it's just whatever. Though I probably will get crap from my co-hosts, Nate and Wendy, for the style of game. I do know this is just one that I was approved for for press, so do, do keep that in mind before I get a flag from you two about it. And for those that don't know what I'm talking about, I am talking about my co host, uh, Alexa Cloud. Uh, I'm they give me a bunch of ration of crap about the style of games that I generically enjoy. more. Okay, I have no idea why I'm 
the one right now. It looks like some type of hydroponics. Oh no, it's the same one. Okay. Chicken feet for around here. Okay, so what is this thing? There's more than that. I know people probably don't want me to get to the uh, mini deaths thing, but I didn't realize there was going to be this much exploration in the game, honestly. As generic as Metroid is, there's exploration by the time. So I do like the fact that the uh, keyboard-centric controls um, actually do translate to the controller fairly well. So I do like the music. The music is uh, fairly nice and atmospheric. I mean, this is gonna be all the combat training and all that jazz. So. Yes. Platforming. It's probably gonna be pretty self-explanatory. Say the um, the leap to dash mechanic is a little soft. So if you don't have just the right timing, it's it's a little off. Nothing drastic. Yeah. 
So one thing I noticed that I am seeing is that the attack animations for uh, characters, if you do interrupt them, they actually matter, which is not something that's near So something tells me the mapping is not done for the controller that I'm supposed to The interesting thing, like these character skills in most graphic, uh, I don't want to say graphic, visual novels, tend to be um, static images. So the fact that they're using 3D models, because you, like, you can see them blinking and moving, is really cool.
Okay, how about you tell me where I need the... Thinking to get that. Frankly, I'm usually not a big fan of way do I need to go is the question. That's a save spot, that's a save spot. グーグー鳥を見かけませんでしたかい見てないわグランドストーンを突破したおそれは困ったわね本当ですかエイ助かりますわかったわ一つでてっぱん逃げたグーグー鳥探しグーグー鳥が面倒な場所に置かれてねえ
I'm not gonna lie, part of me gets like, uh, Mega Man X vibes from some of the, like, the dash and stuff. ありがとうございました。これで艦長にお怒られずに済みやす。早く処理しておきなさい。確かに。ところで、はい。他に何かご用ですかい？どうすんだこいつ。あ、わかる。え、こう。ありがとう。引き、指令指定とお越しください。ど
So if you are just joining, this is Frontier Hunter Ezra's Wheel of Fortune. Uh, the short version is that this is a 2.5D side-scrolling Metroidvania style game. If you are not familiar with those, like Metroid or Castlevania, old school ones. So, again, 2D side-scrollers. Uh, this has a different feel because there's more exploration, more story than a lot of those games. So this, to me, ends up feeling more like a game like this. This is the second game by uh, this particular series. The first one was called Tower Hunter, as was Trial, which is uh, on Steam. It has 1,400 mostly positive reviews. It came out in 2019. It goes for about $18, give or take, US, obviously, for those of us in the States. Okay. I got a curiosity that I can get it cheaper. Up there. Come on. So generally from the few sites that I know that actually sell this that are usually cheaper, it is not the case on this one. I did not check Humble Bundle though. There quick. Nope, Humble Bundle doesn't even have it. So Honestly, if you're into these style of games, I don't see a problem why you would not enjoy this particular game overall. Uh, I actually, this, I'm generically not big on Metroidvanias. They really, really just generically are like But this is actually one that I really, really, actually really like. But like, it, it takes a game about the first hour to really either work for me or not and so far the fact that there's exploration there's a story and all that jazz and the fact that it's fairly open-ended definitely helps in that respect and they do things like this to break up the uh the gameplay style so it's not just a straight 2d side scroller which is definitely interesting Go there. Go to studio. Okay, so let's see uh, what else we got going on with this. Nope, oh, did it crash? Oh, okay.
So the watts uh, don't have a whole lot of texture on them. Which is, yeah, yeah, whatever. But, uh, so it gives a little custom is really nice. Like it breaks up the table. And it makes good use of uh, stereo, stereo audio too. ゆうじゅっけん。大台を一つ Animations on the stairs, but like in the cutscene. Get the budget, if you know, like, can't do much. Okay, so now it's got like a contra vibe to it. Interesting. <laughs> Sign score with guns. Good night, Joe.
All right. <clears throat> So with that, folks, that is the end of this particular stream. I thank you for joining us. Uh, you know, this is definitely a fun game. I definitely can see myself playing this. I'll probably wait until it's out of early access, but what's here, even in this first hour, is actually really, really solid, really good. A few, like, kind of weird quirks and stuff with, like, some uh, stiff character animation, kind of a weird delay. It's not, like horribly noticeable it's noticeable when you're trying to do like the dash air jump and stuff but nothing terrible uh combat's fluid controllers work this is again all about on linux so it works out of the box didn't change anything don't know about the steam deck haven't tried it on that yet so we'll go from there and try that but max settings everything works nothing to complain about uh for me i would definitely say this is a game that you would want to play if you're a fan of these style of games um but it also kind of expands upon it because it's also for exploration it's a good game for combat it's a good game for mega man fans metroidvania fans all that kind of stuff and if you have if you're into anime and story style games this has got some of that japanese anime humor and whatnot if you're expecting an English dub, I wouldn't expect it at the moment. So, but overall, definitely worth getting. Uh, I would definitely look at getting the prior game, which I, again is Tower Hunter uh, Ezra's Trial, which is definitely uh, one that, now that I've played this, I'm probably gonna go get. So, I will catch you guys on the next Game Sphere, and remember to go to xdigital.com slash sponsors to see our awesome sponsors like Bitwarden is a fantastic open source project and also product that is amazing probably the best password manager hands down in my honest opinion and I'm not a password manager guy but Bitwarden made me a password manager guy so it is definitely worth getting so go to textdigital.com slash sponsors Support Bitwarden for ten dollars a year. You get things like a gig of fi uh, encrypted file storage, uh, two-factor authentication, and just a bunch of other stuff. And you're supporting a great open source project. And again, it's ten dollars a year, so definitely worth supporting and getting for a fantastic project and product. So that's it for Game Sphere, guys. I will catch you on the next week's stream and remember budget gaming does not mean low quality